is Adam 22 controlling the narrative? Or do he just got a lot of yes men around him to allow him to play victim? Because he set up there on the no jumper and went at t rail and said, if back on Fig was making any money, if they was doing good, if they was on the verge of being successful, would they be reaching out to the old no jumper staff? The tech guys, the cameraman, the security, um, old interviewers, podcasters, anybody that was around when he was around, would he be reaching out to get them to come back on feed to do like a big interview? Now, it sounds good. It sounds good if you really don't know what's going on. If, if you ain't know Adam had... T-Rail brother big deal on the No Jumper platform for an interview. It, it'll sound good. You'll be like, why is they doing that? If if Adam won't go in and trying to interview everybody that had a problem with T-Rail or fell out with T-Rail and community back on fig, whatever it is, if he won't reaching out to them people to bring them in, and do an interview to give them a platform to disrespect and go with t Rail. Would t Rail even be reaching out to the old No Jumper staff to do a big old reunion on Back on Fed? Would, would that even be the case? Because it's not like he just sat up there and did it for nothing. You reached out to his brother. You had his brother on your platform. You talking about giving him a job up there, how you gonna hire him, how how you gonna pay him like his brother couldn't. You you had the guy, the what his name? Young Moolah, the um um stunner girl boyfriend. You you brought them up to the platform right after you had Stunner Girl at the platform, all because they got into it with T Rail. Well, it was really from Big Deal, but it ended up spiraling into T into T Rail. So that's the only reason you brought him back up there. That's the only reason you interviewed the young Moolah dude. It ain't like he dropped no music, had a video. It ain't like he was coming with nothing. He just came up there to diss T Rail. You brought Milk back up there. Milk then called you a pedo. You know what I'm saying? Adam 16, Gilligan activity and all that. And I'm kind of disappointed in Milk. Like, because you said all this about dude. You've been saying all this stuff about Adam. Like, you the Gilligan slayer. How you going to expose him? How, how messing with underage ain't cool and this, that, and the third. And you don't support that. But it's like, every time he pick up that phone and going to call you, you coming. So it's, it, it, do you stand for it? It, it kind of seems like you standing with the 16. It, it kind of seems like you staying with the 16 shit then. Because you was going at it so hard. Like, even after the, the, um, the Purge Buster dude came up there, you was going at him so hard. He was going at him like, oh, yeah, I've been new. I've been trying to tell y'all. But you went up there. Y'all fell out. You went back up there. So it's like, I think you kind of support the same things that he support. Like, it looked like nobody stands for nothing. Nobody stands for nothing. They only going to say something bad about you when they got a problem with you. Other than that, they going to condone it. Now, you can look at t Red like he don't even really bring it up. He don't bring it up because he know that he was jive fucking with dude. And if they get cool again, he will fuck with him again. So he don't even bring that up. But Milk actually was going in on it. And the way he was going in on it, like he know information like that is factual. And he was stamping it. So to see you back up there, just to go with T-Rail, 
It's kind of crazy. And then you get everybody around Adam, like, oh, yeah. Ain't nobody around him say, man, it's because you brought all his people up there. Not suspect, not brick, not the blueberry brick, not 6 0. He ain't keep it funky not one time. He he just got an issue to, to go and smack. Confused. Not Dejan. Nobody told Adam that you've been interviewing everybody who have a little problem with T-Rail. Of course he's going to try to do something. The dude ain't make no move for the past month. And you've been going ham for the past month. You've been in their business for the past month. And, and it's like, who is he fooling? Who is he fooling? We all in this sector. We we watch. If they watch No Jumper, they watch Back on Fig. If they watch Back on Fig, they watch No Jumper. If they watch Community, they watch No Jumper. If they watch No Jumper, they watch Community. It's all in the same sector. It's in the same sector. No matter if they like it or love it, all of that is the No Jumper universe. All of it is. And it's, and it's mighty funny. It's mighty funny that they would let him sit up there and act like T-Rail just pulled this shit out of thin air and decided, wake up one day, oh, I'm going to call the old no jumper staff and see what they pull up. No, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> you kept poking. Adam, you kept fucking with them. You kept being in their business. You couldn't wait for something to happen for you could speak on it. The man doing his own live before the fans even left a comment on the No Jumper telling him about Back on Fig and Community Views. If y'all pay attention, Adam already knew how many views they had. He already knew how many live viewers was paying attention. He already had wrote it down, jotted it down, threw it in the back of his mind. He just couldn't wait for somebody to leave a comment before he could speak on it. But you want to know what's funny? He had seven to 8,000 live viewers on No Jumper. Back on Fig had two, Community had 1,200. But let's speak on what Fig Community World had. He wouldn't mention that. Because when they ended, they back on Fig and Community Lives. When they ended them streams, they went. And I guess they was going to Fig Community World. They had a stream to do on there. And that's when they did it. He don't speak on what was on there, though. Because at the same time, when you was live and they was live on Fig Community, they had five to 6,000. Live you was watching. At the same time you had seven or eight. But he ain't gonna speak on that. That's why I say is Adam 22 Jives controlling the narrative. Or he think he controlling the narrative. But you're not. Like we could see you. Do you know we could see you? Do you know we could see you? And the suspect. That spinach joke won't that damn funny, man. I don't think Adam gonna fire you, dog. You ain't gotta do all that kiss ass he he ha ha ha. You know that shit won't that funny. Nigga talking about spinach is crazy. Spinach is crazy. You got Brick Baby up there, suck ass. Talking about you wanna sit on my lap? Now that he work at No Jumper, he just play all type of gay games now. <laughs> Let somebody in the hood do that. Let somebody let some let somebody that look like him say something out the way. What's the Cali word? Don't you ain't gonna sex play me, cut. Like look. <laughs> but but with dude it's cool. With dude it's cool. It's crazy. And all y'all doing all that. Let's see if them same people at no jumper three 
six months from now. Let's see if y'all going to be there. Let's see if y'all going to be there. I don't think, I don't think, I think that crew going to rotate. You know what I'm saying? Because I see, I see niggas notice and they worth up there. You know what I'm saying? That's why they applying pressure. That's why they applying pressure. You see niggas jumping on their own YouTube channels now. That's how it stopped. That's how it stopped. You see niggas noticing how many views they brought on the clip page and shit. That's how it stopped. That's how it start. Y'all going to be in the same boat. Y'all going to be in the same boat. And when y'all leave, y'all going to be asking for the same shit. Y'all going to be asking for the same shit. <laughs> and then when the new niggas come, they going to replace y'all the same way. Out with the old, in with the new. <laughs> That's just how it go, man. It's a revolving door of that motherfucker. And it's like, Niggas ain't peeping the game. Niggas ain't peeping the game, dog. <laughs> hey, hey, that's that's what it is. That's what it is. I I just don't know. Is Adam Twenty Two trying to control the narrative, or is Brick Baby and Suspect and all them up there just yes, man, man? Y'all let me know in the comments, man. You know what I'm saying subscribe to me, man.